2000 series radio. I'm going to be using a walkie-talkie today and we're going to go through the setup from scratch. I've already launched the KPG D1N software. First thing we're going to do is go over here. We're going to go save as and we're going to create our file. In my case it's going to be test 5300. This is a model 5300. I'm going to save it. It's important to note with the D1N software, it is very slow. It may come up and say not responding up here. Don't worry about it. It will eventually come back. The reason it is slow is because it has so much stuff this radio can do. For example, we're going to start here under model. We're going to go to product information. And this is a 5300. It is the 380 to 470 split. Over here I've selected P25 and NXDN. This radio can also do DMR. We're not going to talk about that today, just these two. And today we're only going to be talking about conventional. Trunking has to be done at a dealer level. Although some of these licenses are built into the radio, others are purchased. Um, all of these here come with the radio. Um, the rest of this I believe is purchased. But for today I'm going to tell the software that it has P25 and conventional and NXDN conventional. I'm going to go OK. If this was a mobile radio these would appear and you could choose the different types of heads. The mobiles have three different heads. The basic uh, a fancy head and a speaker microphone display. So scrolling across program we can read a radio, write to a radio. It has a Bluetooth write um, test mode. We don't want to deal with that. That's a dealer level thing. Same with tuning data. Multi RF deck setup. That is if you're doing a mobile with more than one radio which can do the 150 megahertz, 450, and 7, 800 megahertz radios. Tools. Uh, don't really need to mess with any of this. Setup. We do need to make sure we have the correct COM port. In my case, I'm at programming cable and I'm on COM port 3. Speed high should be fine. Other options, if you were going to do the Bluetooth, is right there. Your computer then has to be able to talk to the radio, but we're just going to use the cable today. Um, the rest of this we don't really need to worry about for conventional view status bar okay so I'm going to go back to model now anything that's gray means we don't have a license for it anything that's blue means the stuff we can manipulate the first thing we're going to do is create a personality it says personal but it's actually really a personality Notice if I click that, nothing appears up here. If I click the next one, stuff appears up here. Okay, so this is going to be our system one. This radio is capable of multiple personalities, which is great if you're using different ID numbers for different agencies. Right now, this system is set up with analog conventional MDC style of uh, caller ID. Or you can choose Fleet Sync, which is the Kenwood. This one's the Motorola. And then these are the different types of uh, color RD codes. It would be an individual code per radio. You should, you'll have to know how to do that, to pro or what you'll need to program that. Global ID. That means if that is checked, then and you and you have multiple personalities, the same MDC number. Would appear in every personality. If you uncheck it, you can put a different one in different uh, personalities, which, like I said, is useful if you have different police agencies and they allow you to program each other's information and they want you to use a different ID. So for system one, I'm going to create an analog. Let's see uh, the next one. Uh, personal features here. This is uh, okay. So our timeout timer, and that's how long if you push the talk button 
and hold it down after 60 seconds the radio will stop transmitting you can change that value you can give yourself a nice little pre alert I like to do 60 and then I like to let give me a warning five seconds before it'll start beeping at us that the radio is about to shut off um, I usually leave these in the off mode squelch level I like three um, you can go down to two if you're one if you're in uh, you know the forest if you're in the city you might have to go up to five but three is a good uh, 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 setting <coughs> battery saver if you really interested in saving making the battery last longer you can do that what it does is it shuts down the receiver a little bit so if if mission critical uh, I would not I'd leave that off just buy a bigger battery all right uh, analog information here okay if you're using two-tone paging like a fire department you will want to select uh, and you're gonna create a, t a paging channel you're gonna to want to have DQ, QT, DQT, and optional signaling. We'll get into that in a little bit later. Um, this means these two are the tones. So you should already, if you're watching this video, you should know that you have a transmit frequency, a receive frequency, transmit and receive tone. If you're using push to talk ID, uh, you'll need to select MDC if you're using MDC. Uh, let's see here. These are some different settings. Most of this is okay. There are some other settings. Not all looks good. Um, most of this you'll never have to mess with. What you'll have to mess with is just the ID itself right here. So every radio will have a unique one. Okay. Back up to here, you see I now have add or copy. I'm going to add a new personality. I'm going to make this one an NXDN conventional. Go OK. I'm going to add another one called P25. Now, that will say system one, two, and three. Let's give them a name. I'm up here, we're going to go analog. come down here I'm gonna go and XDN and that is Kenwood's digital format over here I'm gonna go P25 Oops. that is the public safety digital now you'll notice let's start with uh, the NXDN here you still have your choice of MDC or fleet sync because in any digital format you also still have analog and notice our global IDs are checked. So if I had multiple NXTN personalities, I can have different ID numbers. So for an NXTN ID number, you have between 1 and 65,000. Each radio will have their own number. Here, that's the alias, that's the name. So if I want to put Bob, I can put Bob there. And that will appear on the screen of the walkie-talkie from the other radio to this and it'll show me who's talking again if I have multiple NXDNs with the global ID select they will all have the same Bob and same unit ID uh, okay so go to personal features down here again same thing we want to put in our five seconds we want to change our squelch levels um, you can do two-tone paging in here. Uh, we want uh, push to talk. Okay, so it'll, uh, we kept it MDC, so we'll stay MDC. If we want push to talk, uh, the rest of this you shouldn't have to mess with. Ah, NXTN. RAN. Instead of QT and DQT, our tones, they'll have RAN numbers. You can do two-tone paging in digital formats. In NXDN, this is more of an advanced feature. We won't have to mess with it. Um, if you have a base station who collects data, you could give it a specific number if you knew the base station was 1,000. 
every time you push the talk, it could send it a GPS coordinate, for example. Uh, these are getting into more advanced features here. I'm not going to really worry about that too much. The GPS hook. Okay, not there. All right. Now we're going to move to P25. They also have uh, unit IDs. Goes from one to F F F F F F. You have to know what that means. To program P25. Um, here's our MDC again. Like I said, you can do MDC, you can do Fleet Sync. And that's specifically for the analog channel. This is specifically for the digital channel. You notice there's no alias here. Um, P25 doesn't do it that way. You have to put it into a list. Otherwise, the only thing that'll appear on the screen is the number. Same dealios here. You got your timeout timer. Five second warning, three squelch, batter savers, all the rest of the space, same type, type of stuff here. But it's going to have more P25 advanced features that we're not going to get into today. Okay, so we're going to close our personality. Now we're going to go to zone. <clears throat> 